Hi Scorpios, welcome to your reading. Guys, let's get into a conversation with your person. Let's find out what they are waking up to and coming to realize about their self, about you, and the connection. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about the person and the connection. If it's not happening with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I was able to pick up energy there. See whose energy is going to come in the strongest. Help us out, spirit. Strongest energy forward for my Scorpios this week. Strongest energy for my Scorpios. Scorpios. <clears throat> Let's do it, guys. Let's find out what's going on with this person. I got one out. Ooh, we definitely got somebody that's a little off balance, a little too focused in on something. Yes. Mm, the card is about the yin, the yang, doing a beautiful dance. Not juggling, guys, but dancing in flow. But they're off balance because something's got their attention. They're looking way too hard at something. Mm -hmm. Obsessing on something that's got them focused in. What else? Oh, got it. <laughs> wow. That card is being in denial about something. Mm-hmm. Oh, trying to pretend like everything's okay and really good when there's small things, little pestilence that eat away things slowly. Mm -hmm. What else? We've got a master number 33. The master teacher number is a Pisces energy, guys. Doesn't mean your person's a Pisces. It's just a sit down uh, and let me draw something into me. Ooh, instead of chasing after it. <clears throat> Let's see what else is going to come out here. Pandora's box. Pandora's box. Wow. Ooh, what are they telling me with this? Because y'all know Pandora's box is about taking responsibility. It's a little bit of fear of the unknown of uh, if I take this action, I don't know what's going to happen <clears throat> in the future. Somebody's been in denial and not wanting to take responsibility for small things that have built up in the connection that may be causing big issues. And someone over here sitting down not chasing after someone anymore. Uh -huh. But they, they are focusing way too much on little details of stuff. It's got their attention. Almost like OCD. <laughs> something small is just it's become something big for them. Hmm. Whose energy is who? <clears throat> is that all their energy? I'm almost sensing like there's two sides of this person. Of either they are obsessed, focused in, not taking action, determined, being stubborn, of I'm not giving in to um, and demanding things change, make changes, that kind of thing. And then there's other times that they'll go into absolute denial of everything's perfectly fine and not taking responsibility uh, for some of their actions. Avoiding taking responsibility. If we've got somebody that seems to be... Because it, it feels like all this is just their energy. Wishy-washy. Scorpio. See what else is going to come out. This is for my Scorpio's person. Scorpio's person. Protection. Energy vampires, uh, beware. I do not play fair. Come towards me with darkness. Be destroyed by light. Mm. What else? Courage. I rise from the ashes and I take what is mine. I hunt. I pursue. I win. Something else wanting to come out. Reflection. I think about the good times. I think about the bad times. I'm learning to let you go. Guys, I really feel like this person is, yeah, very 
very confusing on their energy. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel like they themselves can be like the energy vampire because we see this protection energy vampire because uh, they obsess on things. They get stubborn. They won't budge once they set their mind on this is how it's going to be. This is how, the answer and they won't budge on it. They become closed minded. The courage over here is trying to get the courage to come out of denial about things. But the reflection, I feel like, is them reflecting on their self. The good and the bad. And learning to let go of some of that. And we may, it may be someone from, that we've already broke off with. Let's keep going here. Let's see what else they're going to pull out for us. It's very confusing energy though. Mm hmm it's a lot of opposite kind of emotions and thoughts uh, with, within one psyche. Mm -hmm. Battling with herself. Mm. Keep talking to us, Pop. Foolish. I like the maturity to handle a person like you. Wow, yeah, that may explain um, the energy being a little... Back and forth a little all over the place. Rejection. <clears throat> Your rejection has been a catalyst for change. For change. <clears throat> and y'all forgive the raspy throat. It's really, it's set in for winter. I give up. I surrender to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's keep going here. Children. Children are important to me and it's affecting our connection. Now, there may be children involved one way or another, um, whether we have children together or children from previous relationships, but it could also be this person saying, again, they act childish. They think they're too immature, they, um, especially on an emotional level, because... They don't know how to handle some of their emotions. Holding on, it hurts to let go, but sometimes it hurts more to hold on. Apology. I'm sorry. It was my fault. What can I do to make it right on the rejection? Mm -hmm. Are you seeing? You, hopefully, you're seeing where the emotions are, uh, are just all over the place because no, I need to let go. I'm not good enough. Blah blah blah. It hurts to hold on, but I, can I make it up to you? It's like I can't make up my mind. Nostalgia. It's been hard not to think of what used to be. Coming in on children, the child card, the youthfulness. Self-love. I'm learning to love myself and make my happiness a priority. There's a shadow on that one, guys. A shadow energy of this person um, <clears throat> put put their happiness as a priority and didn't recognize if you're in a connection with somebody. It's not just your happiness. It's both of your happiness. Attraction. You're so beautiful. I get butterflies when I see you. Yes. Was there anything else? Anything else? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watching you, watching you <clears throat> on your social media lights up my mood. So this person does try to keep up with us. Their realization, guys, I don't think it's a big awakening and you probably already knew it. <laughs> but it may have been hardcore for them to accept it and surrender to the, you know, for them to surrender because of something about their self of being wishy-washy. Not emotionally mature, things like that. So, it's more of a self-realization. Mm -hmm. I think you already recognized it and other people recognized it. But this person would be like, no. <laughs> no. <clears throat> a little bit rebellious to deny their, that, that they have an inability to actually make up their mind about things. Let's see what the terror is bringing out. Got a king of pentacles being stubborn and persistent about something. That's Taurus energy. Uh, bull energy. I don't want to give up. 
Ace of Cups, yeah. You're going to keep offering love and hoping you'll be receptive to it. Page of Swords trying to figure out the right words. And they are having that, that to battle the wind within their own mind, their own subconscious thoughts and the emotions that are triggered by it. Page of Wands. Ah. They're at standstill energy, slow moving energy. Um, with the Page of Wands, there's uncertainty, but their uncertainty is about do they have a future with you? What's the vision going forward with you? But it's not enough to hold them back. They're not going to give up because it's coming in on that Taurus energy. Page of Pentacles. We're getting a lot of pages here, guys. Yes, we are. <laughs> that indicates someone that's in a youthful way of thinking or they are actually young. So, oh, and we just got thunder outside. Hopefully we don't get a snowstorm. See y'all. <laughs> As y'all know, thunder in winter brings the thunder snow. So we've got Page of Pentacles. They're at standstill energy. They're not quite sure. That's more of a standstill energy of how to offer their heart to you now. Trying to get clear about things. Mm -hmm. Thinking, trying to think things through. What what can I do to get my position back with you, Scorpio? <laughs> and yeah, Ten of Pentacles. They're not giving up because they want something long term with you. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Scorpios, okay. Woo, let's jump in. Let's find out what if I'm going to put it this way because I don't feel like we're still with this person, and if we are with this person, it's not going to be very long <laughs> because of what the, the energy they're bringing in is just too much, especially for my Scorpios. Because I'll be like, mm -mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Not playing parent to someone. I'm going to ask them if, if they could have another chance with you. And looking back, what what's something they desire that they could bring into the connection? If they could have another chance with you. Let's find out what the desire is. Disharmony. There seems to be some disconnect. Use this time to address any issues <clears throat> to restore harmony in this relationship. They want harmony. Balance. Harmony is feeling equal to someone and in, you know, balance with it. Forgive and heal. <clears throat> As you forgive and heal, your love life becomes brighter and healthier. They want forgiveness and they want to heal. What else? Is there anything else you would like if you had another chance? Anything else? Are they going to bring me anything else? Pop! They are very soon. Be clear about what you want because within a blink of an eye, it will be yours. They want things to be clear and to know what they want. That might be hard for this person. Because like I said, uh, the, I seem to sense they can't make up my mind about much of anything. If they were trying to choose something, you know, I'm going to college. <laughs> they would want to go into too many areas at one time to, and never really master anything because it's all appealing. To them, it's hard to make a decision. Oh, let's get on talking, guys. Let's see what deck they want to use. <clears throat> talk to us, talk to us, talk to us. You guys, the new deck. Ah, let me get it up here. I'm going to get the new deck. So there's definitely been some friction going on. <laughs> let's see what they're going to say. It's for my Scorpios. My Scorpio is their person. Ooh, just talk. There we go. Help me, please. I can't think straight right now. I don't know what to do. Anything else? 
tongue test, tongue test pop. This has been the devastation of my soul. I want to run away from these feelings. I never meant to make you feel third wheel. So much <clears throat> has gone unsaid. It's hard to cope with the terrible choices I have made. What else? What else? I feel you missing me. Selfish and cold. I know more than you think I do. I want your openness. Keep talking. Special connection. Let's get this deck back together, guys. Talk to us. Talk to us. Pop. There it goes. I know that I'm not always delicate and thoughtful with my words, but I do love you. P.S. I adore you. <clears throat> Don't play innocent. I feel like such a fool. Anything else? Anything else? Yep. I still love you. Keep talking. <clears throat> Ooh, my fingers don't want to work, guys. I'm getting two here. I couldn't face you. Your words break me. What else? What else? Read between the lines. It's hard for me to have faith that we are each other's forever person. Second guessing everything. I feel like I don't know you anymore. Ooh, my fingers don't want to work. Oh, they sticking. All that's left is me and my bruised ego. F me. Ow. Truth is in the facts. What else? Mm, okay. Hang on, guys. I owe you so much. Life is difficult not having you by my side. I'm desperate for change now. It felt like I was under some kind of spell. I want to blame you. I want to. They may not be able to, though. Mm -hmm. Drowning in this pain. I'm learning that love cannot be forced. And last one, guys. Your energy says it all. Whoa. Scorpios, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Bless be.